Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy. Today we're taking a look at the Scotch Manhattan variation called the Rob Roy. Now this was created in 1894 by some bartender at the Waldorf Astoria in New York. You don't know it, could have been him. Anyway, this cocktail was created in honor of Rob Roy, a new operetta that came out that year based loosely on the life of Scottish outlaw Rob Roy McGregor. And without any further ado, let's make a cocktail. To build the Rob Roy, you'll start with two dashes of Angostura bitters. Next, you'll add the scotch of your choice. Now, when I'm working in the bar, uh, I get a lot of different variations with this. I personally prefer a heavily peated scotch, or you could go with a heavily sherry scotch if you want something sweeter. But this is a great cocktail to really vary up what you like or your guest likes in terms of their scotch preference. Next, we'll add one ounce of sweet vermouth. Give it a quick stir. And in a certain cocktail like this, this is a key example of something that you really should be strawing. Just a light stir, straw to see where the flavors are. If the alcohol and the vermouth haven't really integrated, stir it a little bit more. We're going to be changing the flavors as we add more dilution. So this is where strawing really comes into play, because if you just pour it out, you're never going to really know what the flavor profile is of your drink. Remember, this is food, so just like a chef, you need to test your food to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. So are you saying you're a chef? Uh, yeah, liquid chef. Yeah, it's food. And once you've reached your desired dilution, pour it into the coupe or glass of your choice. Now a lot of people will get snooty sometimes about the glass you put it into. Just have fun. And a great little tip is go to your local Goodwill or thrift store because oftentimes you can find glasses there for just a couple of bucks that realistically should be $20 to $50, especially if it's an antique glass. This, for example, is just an antique champagne coupe, which uh, I think I paid a dollar for. I mean, it's where you found me. True story. Garnish with a cherry. <laughs> and as easy as that, you've got your Rob Roy. So just to recap, to make the Rob Roy Manhattan, you'll use two dashes of Angostura bitters, two ounces of the scotch of your choice, one ounce of sweet vermouth, stir until you've reached your desired dilution, strain into the glass of your choice, add a Luxardo cherry, and easy as that, you've got the Rob Roy Manhattan.